All right, welcome back to King Online Trading School. If this is the first time you'll be watching this analysis or any of our videos, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to activate the bell icon. All right, so guys, I really want to congratulate those who pick uh, the trades, uh, uh, who pick some of the trades we analyzed last week because a lot of them played out as analyzed so this week we also have some amazing setup for you guys so before i go further make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to activate the bell icon so to learn more about this strategy this strategy you are looking right in front of you is the combination of moving averages stochastic and rsi and this strategy is called the king strategy so for you to know more about this strategy, make sure you watch this video to the end. There you will find a link that's going to direct you to how to set or now to set up the moving average parameters and others indicators, all right? So make sure you watch this video to the end. Well, we also have several videos pertaining to this strategy where you can use the sniper entry, a lot of videos that can help you to get better with this strategy. Okay, so this week analysis is from uh, February 28th to March 4th, 2022. February 28th to March 4th, 2022. All right, so the first pair I'm going to take a look at right here is AUD Swiss franc. So based on this strategy, we pick our entry based on H1 and we use H4 as trend and of course we analyze from weekly down to h1 so based on h1 and four on aud swiss franc this is currently by bias so from the weekly we see that the weekly kind of close in green so this is a signal that we should expect more offside on the aud swiss franc during this coming week so our weekly target for AUC Frank is found right here at this yellow resistance. It's found right at this yellow resistance, which is at 0 0.6889. So, and the daily candle also closed with our bullish engulfing. So this is a double confirmation for us to look for more offside. So right now, this is currently sitting at a resistance right here but we are optimistic this is going to get broken so our daily target for this is found right at this blue resistance which is at 0 0.6802 all right so for aud swiss franc we should expect to look for more buy on aud swiss franc so what we need to look out for is to wait for this pullback to happen then catch the buy entry on your way up, then take the first profit before the blue resistance. And if this level get broken, we are adding up to the yellow resistance. So AUD Swiss franc is good for a buy. AUD JPY, this is also buy buyers according to H1 and 4. So the weekly candle, we see this close with, uh, close in green. So we should expect more offside. So our, yeah, our weekly, Resistance right here is found right at this uh, yellow resistance, which is at 85.83. Right, so the daily resistance is located right right here. As we can see, the daily candle also closed in green. So our daily resistance right here is found at 83.99. So that's going to be the daily target. So let's wait for a pullback on AUD Swiss franc. The same structure we have on AUD sorry, on AUD JPY, we should look for a buy. The same structure we have on AUD Swiss franc is what we are seeing on AUD JPY. So AUD JPY is good for a buy. Once the cross, once the pullback happens and the cross happens to the upside, take a buy and take the first profit right at this, at the blue resistance. And if that level get broken, then the yellow resistance become the next target for us. All right, so card Swiss franc, Card Swiss franc is currently by buyers according to H1 and 4. So the weekly 
the weekly candle is found right at this at this resistance right here at 0 0.7419 all right so on the daily is located right at this resistance because we can see some kind of momentum candle in play so this is a signal telling us that we should look for more upside both on both on daily and weekly all right so card switch frank wait for the pullback to happen then catch your buy entry to the upside card switch frank this is a good this is a, a, uh, a good trade to look out for a buy so the next one we're going to talk about right here is euro aud euro aud is currently sell buyers according to h1 and 4 so the weekly candle we expect the weekly candle to travel down to the yellow support located at 1.5356 because we can see the weekly candle close in red so coming to the daily we also see this some kind of uh rejection so price is in between so now we should expect more downside on the euro aud based on what the uh the weekly has shown to us so on euro aud the pullback has already happened on h1 so as the cross happened to the downside this is going to be good for a sell then we take our first profit right at this blue support at 1.5485 and if that level get broken we add on to the yellow support i hope this is clear all right so you know aud look for a sell euro card this is also currently sell buyers according to h1 and 4 all right so the weekly candle we see this close in red so this is a signal for us that we should look for more sales so we expect euro card to pull down a little bit to this yellow support at 1.4119 all right so the daily candle we see this close in red so we are looking forward to more drop on the euro card so we cannot find any support in between so right here our next target is the yellow support at 1.4119 so coming to the entry, we waited for the pullback and the cross has happened. So wait for minor pullback, then go into the trade and expect the price to pull down some more. So you can take some profit before price gets to its destination, all right? So Eurocard, this is also a good trade to look out for a sell. Eurocard, look out for a sell. Euro NZD this is currently sell buyers according to h1 and 4 so the weekly candle we see this close in red so this is uh, a signal telling us that we should we should expect <clears throat> we should expect more downside on the uh, euro nzd so our weekly target for euro nzd is found right at this yellow support at 1.6530 all right so So one point is look at, we should expect this to pull down some more to 1.6530. So uh, for this, we should look for more, so a pullback right on the Euro NZD. Then take the sell entry. So the first profit should be taken at this at this support right here at 1.6635 and if that level get broken then the yellow support becomes the area of area of profit for us so euro nzd take a sell entry but wait for a pullback to happen before the entry can be uh can start looking for the entry so the next one on my list right here is euro gbp Euro GBP is currently by buyers according to H1 and H4. So the weekly candle closed in perfect bullish engulfing. So 
a clear signal for us to look out for more buy on the euro GBP. So our weekly target for this is found at this yellow resistance at 0 0.8478, right? So the daily target can be, it's already sitting at the daily, daily resistance right here. As you can see, this is getting, it's gonna get broken shortly. So our daily and weekly target is found right at this yellow resistance. So we should look for a pullback on the entry time frame. wait for a pullback right here, then take this buy entry to the outside once price crosses to the outside. And the target is found right at this yellow resistance. Of course, you can take some profit along the way before it gets to the destination. So Euro GBP, this is a good one to look out for a buy. Euro GBP, look for a buy. GBP USD, GBP USD according to H1 and 4. This is currently sell buyers. So the weekly candle, we see this, this has dropped down to touch an area of interest right here. So we expect more drop to happen right on this trade. So we expect GBP USD to drop down to this yellow support at 1.3173 on the weekly. So the daily target, we also see this, uh, this close in the bullish inside bar. So, but nevertheless, we can see expect more pull bar. Sorry, more drop to this level before we can see any significant change, but we're gonna see what price is gonna to present to us. So going into the entry time frame, the pullback has already happened, wait for the cross to happen. The cross happen, go into the trade for itself. And the first profit should be taken before the blue support at 1.32. 70 and if that level get broken the yellow support becomes the next target all right so gbp usd this is good for a sell gbp aud this is currently sell bias right now all right according to h1 and 4 so the weekly target we expect this pair to drop down to this yellow support at 1.8185 all right because the weekly candle it's a strong uh, close with a strong bearish momentum candle. So this is a signal for us to see more downside. So the daily candle also close with some, with, uh, with a good bearish candle. So we should expect more downside right here. So our daily target for GBPA UD is found right at this support at 1.8387, all right? So coming to the entry time frame, which is H1, wait for the pullback right here, then take your sell entry on the cross up to the downside and the first profit should be taken before this blue support. And if that level get broken, we target the next support. Okay, GBP AUD, this, this is a good trade to look out for a sell. GBP Swiss franc, this is currently sell buyers according to H1 and 4. So the weekly candle also close in, in red. So we expect more downside to happen down to this level right here at 1.2134. So the daily candle, we also expect this, the daily move to pull down to turn this support right here at 1.2280 before any significant move can happen. So coming to the entry time frame, the pullback has happened and this is about to cross to so the downside. As market opens, be sure you take the uh, the right entry right here, right, and take the first profit before the blue support. All right, this is also a good trade to look at for a sell. GBP Swiss franc, look for a sell. GBP card, GBP card is currently sell by us according to H1 and four. So the weekly candle close with bearish momentum. So we should expect more downside on this pair, okay? So our daily tag, our weekly target for this is found at this yellow support at 1.6645, all right? So the daily target right here is found right at this blue support because we can see this also close with bearish momentum candle. So we should expect more drop on the, 
GBP card to 1.6945 on the daily. So coming to the entry time frame, let's wait for the pullback, then cash the sell entry to the downside and take the first profit before this blue support. And if that level get broken, we are heading to the yellow support. This is a good trade to look at for guys. So GBP card, it's a good trade to look at for a sell. GBP JPY, based on H1 and 4, this is currently sell by us. So the weekly candle, we see this close in red, all right? So, but nevertheless, we still expect this to drop down to turn the yellow support once again before the pullback can happen, before any change of direction. So, which is located at 152.89. So, the daily candle, we see this close as an inside back candle stick pattern. So, we should expect this to keep pushing up, but nevertheless, we are still expecting this to pull down some more because GBP is currently weak. So we expect GBP JPY to drop down to the yellow support. All right. So going to the our entry time frame, we have seen the pullback has happened right here. Wait for the cross between the yellow and uh, blue to the downside and take your sell entry and expect to exit the trade before the yellow support at 152.89. All right, so GBP JPY, this is also a good trade to look out for a sell. GBP JPY, look out for a sell. GBP NZD, this is currently sell by us according to H1 and 4. All right, so the weekly candle, we see this close in the, with a strong bearish candle. So we should expect more downside to happen on GBP NZD. All right, we should expect more downside. So the yellow support right here at 1.9362 is found as a weekly support. So the daily support is found right at this area right here, which is at 1.9685, all right? So coming to the entry time frame, this is also a good way to look out for a sell. Wait for the pullback and catch the sell entry on its way down. And the first profit is located right at this yellow support right here, uh, sorry, blue support right here. While the second entry, uh, second take profit is found at the yellow support, all right? So GBPNZD, look for a sell. This is also a good trade to look out for a sell. GBPNZD, look out for a sell. NZD, JPY. NZD, JPY, according to H1 and 4, this is currently buy by us. So the weekly candle, we see this close in the in gray. So we expect NZD JPY to pull up to this yellow resistance at 79.20 during this coming week before any drop can happen. So the daily candle, we see this close in the with a bullish candle. So we should expect this to touch the to touch the tip of this of this week, okay, on the daily before anything can happen in that to break up or to continue to the downside. So our, our daily targets for this is found at this resistance I right here at 78.35, all right? So going to our entry time frame, NZD JPY is good for a buy, wait for the pullback, catch the buy entry and take your first profit before this resistance right here 78.35 and if that level get broken we'll keep adding on to the yellow resistance so this is also a good trade to look out for a buy nzd jpy look out for a buy nzd swiss franc nzd swiss franc this is currently buy by us according to h1 and 4 so the same structure we've seen on the NZD JPY is what we are seeing on NZD Swiss Franc. So our weekly target is found right at this resistance right here, all right? So, and also we'll, the weekly candle also closed with a, a green candle. So this is a signal that the weekly target <clears throat> is what price is going to high before any significant change. So the yellow resistance at the 0.6396, is our weekly target for this. 
why the daily is far right at this resistance right here. So this is also a good trade to look out for yourself. Wait for the pullback to happen and catch your buy entry to the upside and the blue resistance becomes the first target. And if that level get broken, we'll add on to the yellow resistance. Swiss franc, NZ, sorry, NZ is Swiss franc. Look for a buy. This is also a good trade to look out for a buy. USD Swiss franc. USD Swiss franc, according to H1 and 4, this is currently buy bias. So the weekly candle for this close with a perfect bullish engulfing candle. <clears throat> so for this, we expect this weekly target to be hit at 0 0.9341, which is at this yellow resistance. So the daily candle, we see this close as an inside bar. So we see that we expect this inside bar to serve as a retest to this area right here. So we expect this pattern to be a continuation pattern and not to, not a reversal pattern. So for this, USD Swiss franc is expected to keep pushing up. So the pullback has happened already. Wait for the cross <coughs> to the upside. Once the cross to the upside happens, take a buy and take the first profit before the blue resistance. And if that level get broken, add on to the yellow resistance. So the last one on the list is USD JPY. USD JPY, the same structure, almost the same structure we've seen on the USD Swiss franc is what we are seeing on USD JPY. So USD JPY is currently by bias according to H1 and 4. So the weekly candle, we see this close with our bullish engulfing. So we have to expect more upside on this. So our weekly target for our weekly target for USD JPY is found right at this yellow resistance at 118.62. So the daily target is found right at this resistance at 116.26 right here, because we also see the daily candle close with a bullish, bullish candle and the previous day candle closed with perfect bullish engulfing. So this is a strong confirmation to us right here that this daily target is going to be each at 116.26 all right so that is the daily target right here so the the entry time frame going to the entry time frame wait for the pullback right here which is which has already happened wait for the cross to the downside and then on its way up cash the buy entry to the upside and let's seek the first profit before the the blue resistance at 116.26. And if that level get broken, we add on to the yellow resistance at 118.65. So this is all I have for you today, guys. So a quick recap of the trade we have analyzed. AUD Swiss franc, look for a buy. AUD JPY, look for a buy. Car Swiss franc, look for a buy. Euro AUD, sell. Euro card sell, Euro NZD sell, Euro GBP buy, GBP USD sell, GBP AUD sell, GBP Swiss franc sell, GBP card sell, GBP JPY sell, GBP NZD sell, NZD JPY buy, NZD Swiss franc buy, USD Swiss franc buy, USD JPY buy. So this is all I have for you. And this the weak pair we can find right here is. GBP is weak, Euro is also weak, but be mindful, Euro is becoming stronger. So the most weak currency right here is GBP. So you want to concentrate more on GBP pairs. All right, so look for a trade around GBP pairs, all right, because we believe this is going to deliver more than the rest, all right? So this is all I have for you guys. If you are yet to subscribe, make sure you click that subscribe button and don't forget to activate the bell icon. Share this with your loved ones, drop your comments, and uh, don't forget to leave a like. So this is all I have for you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now and have a blessed day.